Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, Stanley. Alright, this is going to be real quick because they didn't give us much, but I'm going to touch on some stuff that we um, talked about last week. We're going to try to make some of this make sense because all roads lead to Ford Motor Company when it comes to Tyler. We don't know how we're going to get to the end. We don't know which direction his GPS is taking us, but we nope. are confident that we will get there in the end. <laughs> all roads lead to Ford Motor Company. <laughs> For all of you old and new subscribers, welcome and welcome back. We have to start officially doing the YouTube thing because YouTube tripping. So yeah. make sure that if you're not a subscriber and you enjoy what you see over here, make sure you just join the family by hitting yeah. the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed but you're not getting the notifications, we know that that bell is a hit or miss, but still make sure that it's pressed on. And if you want to just do some um, some double duty, tap it off and tap it again to see if you can reactivate it. Now getting into what happened tonight, but we're going to backtrack from last week. We all were in the comment section going in and letting have about that guy doing guy Derek. Mm -hmm. Now listen, I took a real good look at Derek tonight. Now if Tyler plays his cards right, which we know 99% of the time he don't. Mm -hmm. But if he plays those cards right, he has a very distinct look. Just like Candace has a very distinct look. Now, yeah. we already said, what if he was Hannah's rapist and he is Candace's father? Yeah. Why we can't make that happen, though? Just just, just because we need something in the this, in this script that ain't there right now. But at the same time, she said that she would never forget his eyes and his nose. That's so right. she's looked at him long enough. To, to be able, able to, to recognize out. his eyes and his nose. So yeah. what y'all think about that? Yeah. Well, I think he would have figured out. She would have figured it out by, by now. now. Well, come find out, old boy, he he just lost his wife. She just died. A year did, ago, yeah. Did he kill him? So he's still grieving. Oh. He ain't <laughs> grieving. <laughs> so getting into it, nothing really happened this week. But we see that this week, oh, David Harrington and oh, his Wranglers. David is fed up. I told you last week he had the suit coat on. He said, God, don't it. I want to see my son get on that goddamn phone again and call the DA. I'm sick of this. <laughs> I said, oh, oh, okay, David. And I said, okay, you blowing your cover now because you weren't supposed to say that was your son last week. Oh, he, he pissed off he now. Pissed he, off. Don't, okay. he don't care. He said, I'm his lawyer and to top it all off, I'm a judge. <laughs> so get the DA on the phone now. So, George Juntow. He probably comes in there. George back there, curious George back there playing games with David like that. You know he was back there making making ten didn't want nobody over there. Yeah, he said, "Oh, you been waiting? Oh, well, why don't you go back in the back?" He said, "I've been sitting here trying to get somebody from your been office sitting here all night long." And so, these clowns. <laughs> so George told um the guard, "Go ahead and let him on back there into the interrogation room and whatnot." So David is going back there to the interrogation room, but we see in the interrogation room that Justin made good on his promise. He choked mm -hmm. Jeffrey to sleep. Yep. Told Jeffrey, listen, I don't <laughs> sacrifice a lot for you. My marriage, <laughs> you know, I was he, trying to find a he, ch he choked Justin out like, like uh, uh, Debo choked out, uh, uh, what you call on Friday? A micro minute film. <laughs> nah. No. No, uh, who did he choke out? I Q. Yeah. He said, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Hell, he did that to me. <laughs> That's right, he did it to you, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you know, if y'all watch that live, y'all understand where that came from. But Justin is on one. I'm just ready for Justin to go. I I said at first he could kill yeah. Wyatt, but now I just need Wyatt to kill Him. Justin because Justin is a mess. But Jeffrey is starting to put two and two together. He was like, hold on. You said something about my mama earlier, and now I come find out that she was in an accident. Did you have something to do with that? He didn't say yes or no, but he said, he said maybe yes. Maybe I didn't, or maybe I did. Okay, so they're going through this exchange and whatnot. So David walks in the room as he's assaulting Jeffrey once again, because Jeffrey at this time wants to go back to his cell. He'd rather go back to his cell and deal with the thugs in there than to deal, deal with, with this one thug. pervert over yeah. here. So David walks in and was like, hold on, what the hell's going on here? What's your badge number and your name? Because this right here don't look like 
it's all yeah. on the up and up. Matter of fact, you was the cop that was at my house. Yeah. Yeah, it was like. So when he got his son alone behind closed doors, the first thing he wanted to know, he said, hey, hold on, wait a minute. Do I need to take care of that on your behalf? Because you know I'm a thug. You know I got some things underneath my belt that don't nobody know about. I can pull them out because I don't play about my blood. That's basically how he looked at it. He was like, I can make him disappear. Yeah, so Jefferson said no. And we know they can make him disappear. Well, they ain't got Mom Rose on their side right now. She pissed off at him. Yeah, so she'll I don't, make them so disappear. I so I don't know who, who can get to do this job. So Jefferson said no, it's cool. Now, this is what I like about David's character. David was like, listen here. Your mama don't held a whole lot of stuff away from me and was dangling different stuff over my head. What you not going to do is sit in my face while I'm sitting here trying to help you, help you, help yourself and lie, lie to me. me. So what's going on? Yeah, tell me the truth. So tell me everything. You need, to, you need to break it all down <laughs> for me right here now. But I don't think he was ready for it though. He won't ready. He won't ready for the truth. He said, well, daddy, the reason that I'm in this jail right now <laughs> Because mama caught me and him in my in my hotel room and she recorded it and she showed it to the wife. And he said, Oh god damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was like. <laughs> I said, Dark David for real. He was like, uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Do you uh, love him? Uh, y'all love us? Uh, he said, No, nothing uh, like that. He said, That's my friend. He said, well, do you have feelings for him? Jeffrey uh, says, sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. He said, mm. He was trying his best to be understanding, though. He just didn't know what to say. He didn't know what to say. Because <laughs> he was like, what? And then I wanted him to go but, further and say, his wife is the judge over my case. That that's the information you should have told your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I. Because I, David always been accepting of, 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 yeah. of him being gay. But it's, I guess never <laughs> getting a physical story. How to respond to the physical yeah. story? I mean, it's just yeah. like any parent. They don't want to visualize their daughter or son a, a up. I'll yeah. get us a up. <laughs> Say gay or straight. Yeah. yeah, gay or straight. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna take you back either way. It's gonna take you a minute to digest that. Uh -huh. David was like, okay. So you sure you don't need me to handle that? Because he was looking at his son like that didn't look like it was on the up and up. Yeah. You can lie to me all day long, but I'm gonna handle this. I'm gonna do it my way. You just stay right here, and I'm gonna be back in about a couple of minutes. But I want you to know that, son, I love you. But I'm real confused about this part about Justin's character, though. Is like I think they got him a little bit too over the top because he have a lot. He already the law, mm -hmm. and him doing that stuff and pretty much basically kidnapping Jeffrey and and having him in pretty much during there raping him. It is rape. Yeah. And I told it's, you. it's like it's real with I'm not saying that people wouldn't do it, but he That's he, far and few in between. Yeah. To this level. And this obvious. Unless the Howler trying to tell us something. About himself. But anyway, um <laughs> So then we got Benny. Now Benny finally gets a ride from Mitch and he goes over there to the hospital to go see Demonica. Now I'll say this. I ain't never said it before because I think um Demonica is cute. But Demonica looks like a who. She do like a who. A who for Whoville. Yeah, who, uh, who, who, how you doing? Uh, who, uh, <laughs> Wait, no, they do yeah, Christmas who, now. Are you <laughs> okay, anyway. Um <laughs> retired as Huck. So I'm just still trying to figure out her angle with Benny. I, 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 I don't know if she's trying to set him up. Something ain't right. I, I don't understand. I don't. I've been trying to put it together too, I, but none of it makes sense right now. Oh, you know what? Maybe she might be trying to set him up. I might, I'm going to have to skip ahead a little bit because you know when, you was, when he, he asked, she asked him, I need to do something for you. Right. So I'm trying to figure out if she's trying to do something, to hold something over him before she can get what she really want out of him. Huh. I mean, but he ain't got nothing but good. Mm. So I, I don't, I, I don't he know. He ain't got no house. He ain't got no car. He ain't got, he ain't got no, no business truck. no more. Yeah. yeah. He ain't got no health insurance. And fooling around with um, Trump, he might not even have Obamacare no more. <laughs> so, I mean, what is, he might yeah. have a government phone. Can't get nothing from Hannah because Hannah house is tore up. She ain't got no money. She broke, don't do skip. She ain't I, even working right now. No, she, she ain't refused even to even work. So, I, I. She can and she can't she ain't getting no social security check from little quits and no more he gone. I, I guess she just must be dingling dingling matized. Ain't nothing that good. None. I've so seen it um, before. I've seen it too. So Benny goes over to the hospital, goes to visit her and whatnot. 
and she's playing the professional victim. Like she has no one else. My granddad. Nobody don't come see me. Yeah, that's my granddad. Yeah. Before my granddad died, that was him. They end up in the woods in this week. Uh huh. Hunting and fishing. So, sh now listen. Let me let me just go here. Tyler, we let you slide on a whole lot of stuff, mm -hmm. and we let you insult us weekly, just because. We enjoy our audience. We enjoy our channel. We just enjoy this little outlet that we have over here. But what you not going to do is keep on setting up these fake scenes and don't make not nail a piece of it realistic. Yeah. Okay. She's supposed to be trying to get her oxygen levels back on par. So much so that they keeping her overnight and overnight and overnight. But she ain't got no pulse monitor on a fungus. She ain't hooked up to nothing. No oxygen. No. Nope. No monitors. Nope. No. She just in the bed propped up. Yep. With a gown on. That's it. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. That's just as bad as when they got the goddamn blanket out the out the goddamn um hallway in the You're microwave. Like, what? <sighs> Say what? I, I don't know what else to do, but Demonica basically told Ben and said, listen, I owe you. I owe you big I time. I owe you big time. Um, Say, and I know you sit there sometime and you think about what we used to do, what we used to have. And um, he couldn't think of a, of anything that she could give him as his IOU. Yeah, we talking about Benny. But we talking about Benny. We talking about Benny, you know, the, so, eleva the elevator ain't kind of went up yet. No, but, like Lady Nigga that said. Mitch, that Mitch is trying to help him out on the next yeah, one. Yeah, Lady Nigga said it's a big pretty mall, but ain't nobody shopping. <laughs> so, yeah, he can't. He he said he gonna think about it and get back to it. But in the meantime, she said, listen, go to my house and pick out my clothes. Well, go to my house, turn the alarm off, go upstairs, and my clothes are labeled Monday, Tuesday. I saw we in. Oh, we on the first week of school. Hmm. When That's how we used to do it too. We used to lay your so outfit this, this out. My Monday outfit, Tuesday outfit, Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday, I'm going to floss on y'all motherfuckers. But I used to hate the second week. Yeah, because everything was old then. Everything <laughs> old then. You know, mom and them wouldn't buy no two, three weeks worth of clothes. Oh, no. You got you got one week. Yep. The first four days. Because, you know, you never <laughs> went to school on that Monday. You went to school on that Tuesday. So you got four outfits and maybe a couple pair of shoes. Maybe. Yeah. And one of them might just be fish heads. And then when his mom and them got smart, she would get like two pair of jeans and four shirts and say, you gonna recycle them jeans on Thursday and Friday and just put on a different shirt and then nobody gonna know. No, at least your mama didn't make your clothes. I'm always a big mind at first. My mom said her, um, my mom and them used to, uh, um, grandma used to make their clothes too out of pillowcases. They old. We're not old. Yeah. So imagine. She used to make your shirts? Yeah, I used to have them them two piece sets on that match. Yeah. With the elastic. But they were what they were curtains? No, they were they were fly though. <laughs> they were fly. I was cross color before cross color was in. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you brought that out. Hey. <laughs> they should be paying me. I was a colorful somebody. That's maybe why I like black now. Because <laughs> I'm not just rebelling against color. <laughs> so uh, uh so Benny leaves out the um at the hospital room. And Mitch was like, so you didn't secure your truck? No, nothing. That woman loves you and she's loaded. She said, I see the way she looked at you, man. I said, we see it too. And Mitch, what's up with Mitch and that walk, though? That walk is funny as heck. I mean, I don't even worry about that either. So, they end up going to the house. Nah, if we got the part, um... What part I forget? Because none when, of this matters. Yeah, it don't matter. But this kind of matters just, just a little bit. Okay, make it matter. Good. Make it matter. Because um, Mitch was like... You a lot more better getting that money from her than from my uncle because it's a whole lot more safe with her. Benny said, oh, hell no. You don't know this lady. And that's what I said. See, his uncle is street smart. But Veronica's street smart and just as smart. Yeah. So she could buy him all up over that truck. Make him wish he never drove a day in his life. Huh? Huh? Make him suffer without even being, being getting killed, in, like I said. So Bennett ended up going over to the house, like she said, to go get the clothes. So when him and Mitch ended up going to the house, getting inside the house, they bump into Melissa. Now, they're trying to figure out why is Melissa living at the house? Why is she the house guest that Demonica has been talking about is driving her crazy? Well, Melissa lets them know, look, she wants me to marry her gay out doing son. You know, 
And oh, Benny had let Demonica know, you know your son tried to kiss me, me before. Right? Yeah. And she I, was like, what? When? She was like, I hope you hit him hard. He was like, that's your son. But he ain't had no reason. I said, Demonica, we're not. about her clicking off when he told her she a control freak? Yeah, she clicked all the way she off. Clicked she clicked off. Like, and then she came back and was like, oh, this is Benny. Don't, can't can't uh -huh. click off on him yet. Uh-uh. And Benny said, but you can't control me. And I'm looking. I was like, she doing it she right, doing right, right now. now. Yeah. So he gets over to that house. And Melissa lets him know, yeah, she wants me to marry the gay son. You know, I ain't with it and whatnot. And Mitch, with his smart mouth, he said, well, that still don't tell me why you, you here. here. She said, ooh, don't you think I'm sexy? And started opening up. I said, what the hell? Miss said, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then she goes ahead and escorts um, Benny upstairs to Demonica's room to go get her belongings and whatnot so he can return back to the hospital. But no, 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 no. She gets her hind parts on the bed with a completely flat stomach. Now she's supposed to be pregnant. Like the old people say, break on net. Uh-huh. Her stomach flatter than mine. Her stomach flatter than mine. I ain't break. Come on here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Well, she started undoing everything. And old Benny, you know he's a dude. And, and she fit. And she's a pretty girl. She's like, come on over here. You know I got knees. And I know you got some too. Let's go ahead and get a shop hopping. Benny said, Benny was like, nah, nah, I'm nah. just here. I'm just here to get these clothes. I'm just, I, I, I just gonna get these clothes. Well, the clothes you about to get is already half off. But uh -huh. she sat in his lap, and next thing we know, Benny's hands hand started, started running on across in the air. And, and I said, I got him. I got your hard part. Got him so, now. And then I said, well, is this part got? Don't it? Now get I thought nail. that this, this make me think that he's being set up. That's what I'm thinking. The reason why I say that, why was she walking around all glammed up? With lingerie on at the perfect time when they showed up. Yeah, because she was glammed up. Yeah. But is she being I don't think he's being set up by Melissa. Well, she just I'm talking about up. I'm talking about I wonder if Melissa's still working with Veronica, but no. it's making it look like they're against each other. I don't think so. I don't know, man. But you know Tyler would do some bullshit like that and make us think that they at odds with each other, but they on the same team to fake everybody else out. Mm, they don't know. I'm that just me, it. you know, that just me just going out there. I might be grabbing for straws right now. We but I to need to do something for this episode. Yeah. Y'all don't know how, how much I want to quit this show right now. But I'm <laughs> hanging there. So now we got Landon. Now Landon is still doing what Landon do. And um, I remember something that James had said. He was like, I'm so sick and tired of Tyler painting the picture that all gay men are like predators. Like they're yeah. out to seek somebody to turn them out or make them be with them or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I'm sick of it too. And I didn't even yeah. look at it like that. But now we got Landon. He over here clearing schedules and calendars and all of this stuff because yeah. he wants Charles Obama to kick it with him. And Charles Obama was like, so I'm going to have a morning and a night free? Oh, that's what's up. And he was like, well, you don't have to have it alone. You know, you can have some company. Well, is she cute? <laughs> he said, I was thinking about, about me. me. And he was like, no, nah, no, uh -uh. Like, I just want to go and relax and, you and know, give chill me out. some Z's. But in the meantime, can you check on Candace and see what's up with her? I'm going to send you out on, I'm going to send you on an errand because um, yeah. Benny was the errand boy, but I really think Landon is the errand boy. And <laughs> I'm, what? You, you got some big balls, boy. When you just yeah. send somebody on a flight to go check on somebody and come yeah. back and report come, the information to me. Hey, because flights ain't cheap, man, you know. <laughs> Not unless you get old spirit, you better pray you get that. Uh-huh, then pray, yeah, and pray that your bags get there, too. Huh, you better put that duffel bag under your seat. You yeah. learn how to pack. So, now we see Landon. I'm going to skip ahead, and I don't know who this lady was. I don't, I don't know who the white lady her. is. I don't know, but anywho. You know, Maggie Day you know, did, so we needed but another you know how Tyler, he just, just, he just bring people just in. slide people on in there. You ain't like, like, like that girl, that the new prostitute, just, just slid her on in there. Like, we supposed to know who she yeah. is. But she's talking to Landis, so evidently she's working on the campaign trail as well. And they're having a conversation about Candace and how much she's causing them a lot of extra work to yeah. keep up with all her, her criminal activities and all this stuff. <laughs> and she realizes that Landon is, is in his feelings about the liking that Charles Obama has to Candace. Because he pretty much put it out there. Yeah. So she said, so you jealous of Candace and how she... Oh, so you got a thing for Charles Obama. He was like, nah, that's no, my no, boss. No. And he, she was like... The boss, the boss that you want? 
Yeah. And Landon basically told her, said, listen, yeah. Because she said, you know, you know he's 100% straight, right? Landon said, um, I don't turned out some 100% straight guys in my day after dark. So it is what it is. And she was looking at him like, you know what? It's time for me to go and take another drink because I don't have time for this. Yeah. Candace already driving me crazy. So it <laughs> is what it is. So um, I was glad that that part was short, but I'm sick of this. I really am sick of this. So then we see first lady erica because that's what she looked like she looked like she just came off the <laughs> on sunday service and she came to deliver some goddamn clothes to the new prostitute and she's scared as a mug mm -hmm. but she's, she's doing what candace you. told her to do she told old girl tell candace that i brought you all designer stuff i brought it in a snap like she said and i got to get out of here but she bumped into candace before she could ex exit stage left candace basically ran her down in the lobby, told her, listen, you crossed me when you was messing with um, war. war. So how does it feel to be out here with Joe A not being protected? Mm -hmm. She said, it don't feel good. And she said, yeah, and don't make me slap you here. Now I'm noticing that there's an old dude in the background. Just looking. Just, you know, just ear hustling. And I said, well, hey, you from the streets, Candace. You don't feel you that? You don't see, yeah. You don't see that? You ain't looking That's at no That's the mirror. first thing you would have noticed, man. Yeah. yeah. You're not looking at a picture, looking at reflections. See, this is the kind of stuff you got to learn when you're from the hood. Yeah, and, and then she you, would, you use everything as a mirror. Yeah, then she would talk because she would tell the girls, like, this is the last time we're going to talk in public. You know, going to my room. Talking about the 100K? Yeah. All so out I, the open? Yeah. And I said, well, you about to get your tail hemmed up. Well, as soon as Erica left, homeboy rolled up on her and said, look, you under arrest. And I said, oh, skip. Oh. He got her for prostitution that quick. You just got, you just became a pimp yeah, earlier. Yeah, yesterday. You just, you just, you just signed your paperwork yesterday. God, no, your W-2 ain't even in yet. Hey, yeah. So, So no. you ain't made your first sale yet. No. Remember when she took old boy's wallet and she robbed him? Vice got him. But that was dumb because he was he, he was, was hiring her for a prostitute. But now I'm still here trying to think. Is Charles Obama behind this bullshit again? Oh, pulling her on in so he can yes, it look like okay. But then at the same time, I don't think so because next week she ended up in real FEMA jail. And Charles Obama don't roll in the yeah. FEMA jail. Cause I was kind of confused. They was like, we don't want to cause no scene. Yeah. But since when the police don't want to cause no God don't sink? No. Every time you see Let's them. Let's not talk about cops. Huh? Don't talk about cops anymore. Not all cops. I'm not talking about all cops. We had had cops out here the other night on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. Somebody got stuck in our yard again. Yeah. And it was one cop that he was, he was a little extra. He was all out in the woods with a flashlight, picking up stuff, throwing it in the woods. Yeah. The lady and cop that was talking to me, she said, she I don't said, know what the hell he's doing. So I told Stan, I said, turn the camera on, because what you not fitting to do is plant something or do something around here and put my name on it. No, we we not fitting to do that. Yes, I had to pull pull old gun out the case again. I'm so sick of having to pull my gun. But uh, yeah, the sure. only fit my statement. Yeah, I'm not talking about all cops, but yeah, some cops want to cause a scene. Yeah. So. Next scene we see, we see another rape scene. Sarah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Maybe, maybe. Could mm -hmm. we start off the half and a half not first season, didn't we? No. No, we didn't. So maybe she might be from first season. No, we were watching it. We just didn't review it. I don't remember her at all. I don't remember her. But you know, who we dealing with? Yeah. <laughs> Two by four head. <laughs> I'm about sick of him. Yeah, so we got Sarah. Sarah was a girl that used to be a prostitute that ended up in front of um, um, Judge Cryer's um, in her court, in his courtroom. courtroom. And he ended up make he's an opportunist. Yeah, make your record go away so he can get some puss. Yeah. You had a record. You wanted to disappear. I need some cooch. Let's make it happen. Let's make a deal. So now she's on the up and up. She's um, the, I think she's the assistant DA or something. Mm -hmm. She's worked her way on up or mm, her way on up. Get ready to get married. Ready to got a, got a nice to an old judge. Yeah. So we know what that's all that's about. That's a big giveaway. <laughs> so Jim Cross said, well, oh, you've always had daddy issues. You know, it is what it is. He said, but listen, <laughs> whatever y'all got on me down there, you best to believe that I'm going to take everybody down, down there, including you. If this stuff hits the fan like I think it's going to. 
She said, listen, I can't tamper with evidence and I can't make people disappear. Hmm. He said, but I can make, you can make paperwork disappear like I did. Your prostitution paperwork. Yep. And if my stuff gets out, then your stuff is going to um, leak out too. In the papers, in the blogs, on Facebook, on YouTube. Instagram. You know, your yeah. stuff going to be on front street too. So then she realized that he wasn't playing with her. And she was like, you know what? I'll I get back to work and yeah, I'll get... I'll... He said, no, no, no. You can't go to work just yet. Uh-huh. Get on the bed. Take your clothes Take off. Take your clothes off. Your face down. Face down. Mm -mm. Cause you know how I like it. And don't even front. Because you know this is the best you ever had. Say <sighs> what? She said, I'm not gonna do it. I said, Yes, you are. She said, I'm not gonna do it. I said, Yes, you are. Yes, yeah, here she go. <laughs> Tyler. I'ma need I'ma need to have a really good talk with him. Because this right here, this ain't right. So last scene we saw was Justin Timberlake. You know, speaking of Justin Timberlake, that performance was awful. Yeah, that won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime yeah, I'm more won't, into the football game than I am a performance. The, the football reason. game was good. The football game was. I had no. Day. I had no intention on watching the whole thing. I was gonna peek enough to be able to talk about it at work the next day. <laughs> but I ended up. We ended up watching the whole thing. I, and then the after show, Kevin Hart. That was even funnier because he was the after show. Kevin was lit. Yeah, he talked about something. I told my wife. Hey, I said, when are you going to stop embarrassing your wife in the public eye? Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> For real. Really? <laughs> so, Justin Timberlake broke into Wyatt's house. His condo. With a crowbar. Basically told him, listen. You told me on the phone. That you were Jeffrey's lover. So, what you gonna do? I I gave up a whole lot to be with him. And y'all lovers, tell, tell me, me. Tell me you ain't gonna call him again. Tell me. It's like. Why he was like, what? You put Man, you is you crazy. crazy as hell. I ain't think. Why well, I probably thought he wasn't gonna be coming over there. Mm -mm. So, then he went and tried to charge at Wyatt. And why got him for a hot second. Then it went him. off. Then it went off, but we I saw like, that crook ball go over there. So I hope why beat the living Break the dog. brakes off But he thing. ain't, because we see next week that um, David gonna have him hemmed up and basically told him, I'm gonna show you an enemy and the likings. And the likings. And what you never seen. Never seen before. So, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so tired. So if we ain't delivered a night charge to my lack of sleep. Yeah. And so I'm about ready to get some sleep now, though. You get some sleep. Straight we'll, from the VA. We'll see you next week. Mm -mm -mm. The Dirty Dirty South. Boom!